Yo, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? We have ourselves a patch update to a dungeon turn! Yeah! Alright guys, well, another patch, another reading of this said patch, because we love reading, kind of. Alright, so, Glenn, from a township tale, has says that there's patch 1.5.4, has been rolled out today, here are the changes. Exploding fireworks cannot be heard by any player regardless of their location on the server anymore. Now, I hope you worded this, you didn't word this the best, but I think this just means that, you know, if somebody lets off fireworks, someone, like, in the town, someone at, like, in the mines or somebody at the tower will not hear it. So that's probably what he means, rather than them being able to hear that exploding fireworks, which is interesting. I think I might have actually noticed this before, to be honest. Um, I feel like I heard, like, firework shots happen. When I'm like deep in the mines, and I was like, is there somebody above me or below me? And like, where is this coming from? But no, that's just because somebody fired fireworks somewhere else on the server. But that's fixed. All right. Next, we have fixed tossed objects rotation. I do not know what this is. My guess is that maybe when you toss something, it like doesn't rotate properly, but now it maybe has that inertia to rotate, which is kind of cool. More immersion when we have things thrown with real physics. Um, who knows? We'll see if that that's uh, what that means. I don't know. Somebody can comment down below if you can want to test these bugs and features. Is a bug a feature? I don't know. Next, we have lit campfires now have a cozy sound for improved chill and rest. Ooh, I like this. When you improve more immersion with sound, it makes it really fun. So I like that. I like it. Now we have impact sounds and graphics used for Pumpkin vines and apple trees are fixed. I don't know too much about that. I'm guessing that's like, it was says impact, meaning like when you hit them. I'm guessing that's what it means when you hit them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to edit that out. But okay, next we have Luminance buff is now working on quest. I guessing this is when you have a like the lighting potion, um, like where you make a lighting potion where it makes it so you can see in the in the dark maybe or, or just lights up around you that's probably what this means which is awesome actually this is a feature that we have let's like because like this has been around for who knows how long quest has been around for like two years and we don't have the luminance working and that's actually very nice so i'm actually glad that that's there that's actually kind of nice it's like i don't know that's like a, almost a feature that's added to quest because like, i guess it's on it might be on bcvr i don't really use potions too much go and talk to digitaron if you want to know about potions i'm not a potion guy i'm a mind guy i just take a pickaxe and i hit things with a pickaxe what do you what, what do you expect of me but all right Minor fixes and stability changes, plus a new, uh, a few new dev only features that will prepare us for the future updates. Interesting. I will, okay. Additionally, I would like to apologize for not being able to deliver the revival feature, which we have a few videos covering the revival feature and all that stuff at one point. Um, so they haven't re released it yet, though. Within the, the initial time period, we encountered some unexpected problems during development and we just uh, have to make sure that the patch is 100% ready. I don't think there's anything as 100%, maybe 99% ready <laughs> to be shipped before we roll it out. That being said, our next patch is confirmed to be the revival feature update, which um, at this rate, it could probably be November. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see when they send it out. I can't promise anything. They probably don't want to promise anything because they don't want to let us down because, you know, people have been wanting features and features, but hey, I don't know. I already spent hundreds of hours. I'm, I already got my worth of the game and I'm getting my worth because you guys are watching the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Like and subscribe. Uh, I also have a date for the Q&A answers. Derek will come to answer your questions tomorrow around 6 p.m. Sydney time, which I have no idea what time period zone that is for me. So just stay tuned for those Q&A answers. Um, I guess we'll we'll check the channel really quick here, but I'll be there to assist. But in the end, Derek will answer the questions himself. Thank you so much for your patience. I know we are asking a lot from you, but things are changing for the better and we will be, we will all be a part of the change. Yeah, so this is where, keep an eye on this page. This is gonna be the page where they answer all of our questions that we have lots of questions of here. Which basically, I gotta say, like 90% of these questions are like, when is the next update coming out? <laughs> well, so uh, I guess that patch release kind of answers a little bit of that. We'll see where, where, what happens. Um, yeah, I'm actually really curious. I had some pretty good questions posted there. I'm really wondering, um, you know, how that's going to be. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, if you guys didn't like and subscribe already, do that now because uh, this is a new channel and we're trying to put all of our Township Tale content on this channel because my main channel is going in a different direction. And it's just, I think it's good to separate those two out. 
So like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!